Hello there everybody, it is me Fizzer Bunny, and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed building video, okay guys? So today I'm so excited because we're going to be speed building one of my favorite types of venues to build in The Sims. And yes you guys, we're going to be speed building my very first Sims 4 wedding venue, okay guys? This venue is going to be called the Romantic Hillside Chapel, uh, which is located in one of the more expensive neighborhoods in Willow Creek. And I chose this lot specifically for this chapel because I thought that it kind of fit really well with kind of the idea of having a romantic wedding so yeah the hillside came from the fact that the slot was located on a hill and yes you guys this is a church venue there's not that many in the game I think the Sims team was trying to be religion neutral, if you guys get what I mean. But I, you know what? I think it's more realistic to actually get married in venues like these. So I felt like this was a very appropriate venue that I really, really wanted to build. Because um, these are my favorite venues to build, you know. The Sims 3 built a venue very, very similar to this one. And it got really positive response. So can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about this one so yes as you guys can see it is yellow primarily it's gonna have a lot of white details to it as well adding in some columns here i think those trims that i used that came with the base game are so beautiful it makes it look so complete and very roman actually um the style is very similar to the alexander palace build um that i did a couple of months back and yeah, just adding in some windows. You guys can see that the windows actually have like blue um, window panes and things, which I thought was a nice little accent because I, I felt like if I made it white or yellow, it would be too much of either color. So I thought that the blue accents kind of balance things out. And I really liked using those um, roof ornaments that came with the base game. You can just enlarge it and it did look automatically like a bell tower i felt like i've seen someone else do that um if you guys know the blogger called white plum bobs are green he is one of my inspirations when it comes to building he's probably like one of the most talented builders out there so shout out to him this build was kind of inspired a little bit by a church that he did and not 100 percent, but it does look very similar especially like the bell towers and stuff but yeah anyway um What's really cool about the interiors of this church is that it is two stories tall, very, very beautiful and ornate, and I love it. I would totally love to get married in this wedding venue, I wish. Uh, but yes, you guys, I think it is the dream venue for all you girls and guys who kind of dream about hab having like the perfect fairy tale wedding. Uh, so yeah, originally I was really thinking of making the floors um, wooden because I felt like that would kind of make it feel more antique. But I found these really interesting tile, stone tiles that I felt like were kind of appropriate for a wedding venue. So I'm just like, okay, I'm going to plop them over there. And originally I was very apprehensive about placing two like pair columns because uh, I felt like there was going to be too much columns. The guests that are sitting on the aisle could not see the bride and the groom. But you know what? I felt like the columns actually add a really good three-dimensional feel. I, I think it even made the aisle look longer by dividing it into three. I, I think it looked really good. I'm going to be placing in some flowers in the middle of the columns later on, which makes them look even more amazing. So yes, um, these chairs over here are functional. You can actually sit your sims in them. I don't think that you can invite that many people, though I believe we have like 38 chairs excluding the bride and the groom so that's that's a lot of sims i think we can invite maybe 10 to 16 guests i totally don't know uh but yes you guys um you 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 can probably fill up those chairs but i doubt it though anyway adding in some curtains which have a really good effect as well and then i put these really nice blue chandeliers because i felt like they had really good light soft i mean soft lights i guess uh, and that's really cool. I, I love how this venue's interior has like a really soft feel to it. And then I realized that I can en enlarge these curtains and I hung them on the second floor, which was really, really beautiful, actually. It looked really nice and it looked very formal as well. And just to top it all off, I also placed some hanging flowers on the second floor just to add some more floral feel. 
in a little bit i think we're gonna rotate this church and yes you guys i did say that we're gonna rotate it because um i wanted the church to face the view uh not the tv show the view from the tv talk show no, the view from the hill because i felt like that was a better place to orient the church uh, but don't worry the front will look really decent but you know i felt like if i made the church face the opposite side it will be a, a, a different take on your typical wedding venue so um i will rotate it in a little bit uh so just trying to look at possible options and things to spice things up here a little bit um so yeah as you guys can see it is facing the hillside and by making the church chapel actually face the other side it's facing directly to the reception area and there, there's a really fancy reception area where i used a lot of luxury party items uh but yeah right now we are building like a fountain type of esplanade colonnade i don't know what these things are called this is probably like a pavilion type of thing but yeah i placed that arch there originally but when i placed the fountain um i i had to take out the archway because the game automatically deleted it and it didn't allow me to place it back so this is kind of like you know a pavilion that's very similar in design to the church itself as you guys can see it also has like this the shape of the church the side scrolls and the trims and all that stuff so yeah i felt like it it added a really good extra dimension and kind of tied in the garden with the actual structure of the church itself plus it frames the view of you know of of the hillside perfectly with the gap in between uh so yeah i think i'm gonna place a circular window instead oh there we go uh, really really nice little detail actually um that i'm super super proud of uh and then let's see here what am i gonna do <laughs> i do a lot of zooming in and out as you guys can see um so yeah over here we're trying to create like um outhouses and stuff like other extra external buildings i guess is what i should call them and um there are a lot of things actually that are required for a wedding venue so i had to make do with placing outside buildings which i actually was really apprehensive of doing because i really wanted to have just the chapel but in the end we needed to have some bathrooms and we also needed to have a bar in the end i feel like i was able to meet all the different requirements and things this actually this lot is actually set as generic so there's no specific requirement but if you want to throw a wedding if you want to throw a wedding party in this venue you are gonna have to have specific items in order to reach the gold performance uh, so i think if i remember correctly i did place everything you could need uh, so yeah um, I also placed like a perimeter fence you guys will see in a little bit um, with those concrete fencing and stuff because I felt like this venue needed a lot of privacy uh, so yeah I will place that fence all around this venue um, and yeah uh, also place that hedge all throughout as well I don't know I, I doubled up on the fences actually which is kind of weird I placed an outside fence and then I also placed like a hedge inside just to minimize the landscaping because I was really nervous that it would slow down people's games and stuff and you guys know that I'm very optim I, I, I optimize my builds really really well for best performance even though sometimes I go super super over the top uh, but yeah adding in some pathways and stuff this square in the center that you guys can see is going to be the location of kind of the main reception area it's gonna have tons of tables and then that one um premium content type of thing uh, no actually it has like the premium content buffet i keep calling it a premium content it has the buffet table and the chocolate fountain so that's that and there's also gonna be some huge great trees in this venue i felt like i i really wanted to incorporate those trees. i don't know where those are called maybe oak maybe maple i don't know but i really wanted to incorporate those trees because um i felt like you know reception needs some shade because you don't want your guests to be spending all their time under the sun because this is not a beach wedding uh so yeah anyway there we go adding in some uh luxury party content 
And yeah, it's a very basic, simplistic layout anyway. There's just a square surrounding the table and stuff like that. It's it's nothing too, too crazy, but it gets the job done. None of the sims get stuck. And yes, you guys, it actually works. Your sims can actually go to the buffet and grab something to eat. Took me forever to figure out the layout though, so that's that. I did settle in the end for placing the buffet table in the middle because I felt like that that was the best way, you know, to make it accessible to all the guests and stuff and had to use the move objects here to kind of fit in all the chairs and stuff. It was a little bit cramped, but nothing too, too crazy. Uh, so yeah, working on with the fountain, I am going to place like a diagonal area and then there is going to be some actual jets over there which I am going to add later on in the video and I discovered these very amazing flowers over here which are unlockable in the game these are unlockable through having a good performance in a wedding and yes I placed them like crazy I kind of went overboard but I think they made the look of the inside of the chapel absolutely amazing like look at that i mean who would not want to get married in that chapel like seriously though get this it is the perfect place to marry your sims and yes i am trying out those trees i am gonna place those trees those trees in, in, in later on in the video but for now i just got rid of them because they were kind of in the way of the landscaping and stuff so yes um adding in some more pathways and then once again zooming in and out to try, kind of check and see how things are going and yeah these hedge fence well these aren't hedges these like really small fences are going to be containing like planter boxes and things where it is like literally an explosion of flowers i really made it a point to build a lot of flowers in this venue because i wanted it to look really fragrant and i also wanted to look very appropriate for a wedding as if the venue itself was kind of created specifically for weddings so tons and tons of flowers you guys will see later on and then there's also a lot of hedges i like putting hedges on my builds just because i think they make they make it feel more i don't know there's it gives more variety i guess to all the different fences and stuff so i did place quite a lot of hedges on the areas where i wasn't planning to put any landscaping and stuff so yeah got rid of that fence dividing the lot into two in the center so it's just one big garden and then adding in <laughs> adding in these hedge fencing okay funny story though you guys if it looks like i know exactly what i'm doing i kind of do because in this part um i actually had to record it twice because the first time i recorded it um like my computer crashed which was freaking insane i was totally caught by surprise because it never happens you know i think one year on since the release of the game um i think my game only crashed on me maybe twice two to four times i guess would be the most uh but yeah i had to record it once again which i was really annoyed it was like 40 minutes or 30 minutes worth of recording just the central part because the beginning and the end i had to figure it out myself but just this middle part of the video i had to record re-record it once again so if it looks like i know exactly what i'm doing i totally do uh so yeah and then this is the point where i realized that i could not keep that archway in the middle so i just ended up deleting the wall and then this room is or this building is going to contain the bar area which i actually really like it turned out really well i was able to use those three tile doors that came with the base game i've always wanted to use those and then yeah pretty much keeping in with the same type of color scheme all throughout um I think this is the area where I totally knew what I was doing and then my game crashed. Uh, you know what? It happens. That's just collateral damage, which you kind of had to kind of just pick yourself up and continue on from where you left off because I didn't want to be so negative about it because uh, I would lose motivation and this venue would never finish. But as you guys can see, I'm literally just speeding through this because I knew exactly what I wanted. I knew all the colors. I knew where everything was going to be. So yeah. Just for this part though. Anyway, I'm gonna add those um, planter boxes. It did a really similar, um, I did a really similar um, design for other builds actually. Other speed builds, 
earlier this year. So that's that. Adding in some curtains to make it more, um, you know, continuous with the design with the other parts of the chapel. And then I placed those really nice, um, like wine racks and stuff. Those are really nice. And then over here, I placed some bathrooms where I actually didn't use the male qu king and queen doors i guess is what they call it in the sims 4 because i didn't see any reason why i had to separate the men and the women it's just a toilet there's no changing room or anything it's not a spa where a, a locker room is required uh so yeah there is a sink and a toilet and that's pretty much it <laughs> and it also has some chandeliers because i really wanted to incorporate some fab you do also get some mirrors and i also placed some mirrors inside of the chapel you guys will see in just a second and that's because, uh, you know, if you're waiting for the bride and groom to come, you kind of want to check yourself out and gussy up and also look presentable, you know. Uh, so, yeah, this is the vestibule where there's really nothing to. Oh, no, you know what? There is something to this. And there are those drink um, containers that came with drink trays that came with spa day, which I thought was really appropriate. You know, usually the guests would arrive first and then when they arrive, they can grab some drinks. I don't know if that's allowed in a church, though. So I don't know. But the guests or the groomsmen or the bridesmaids would get some drink, kind of get their excitement up to. Yeah, the bride can even get a drink while she's waiting to pass by the aisle. And then I have to say that the lighting in this is amazing. It looks absolutely magical at night. The lighting was just right. It wasn't too intense and it wasn't too dark as well. Uh, which I originally was a little bit apprehensive as well with the lighting because I felt like it was a little bit dim. I felt like it needed to be slightly brighter, but when I actually tested it, this out, the surrounding lot, the surroundings of the lot actually had fireflies in them, and you can actually see the fireflies really clearly, um, which I feel like would be an absolutely magical effect, especially for like a nighttime wedding. So I really like that aspect. I think the fact that this venue is not so brightly lit kind of helps and then once again keeping in with my usual landscaping so i'll use exactly the same things every time uh, this time i was able to change the colors of the flowers a little bit usually i would keep these hydrangeas in purple but this time i thought why not make them white you know it's a wedding venue after all and then i was also able to use a different plant for the first time i will place a bunch of lavenders by the way as well I really like to put lavenders, and I say this all the time, I put them in a build, is that I feel like it would make the venue smell amazing. Especially like for a wedding venue, can you guys imagine smelling fresh lavender? So yeah, the new flowers that I was talking about are these pink ones. I felt like added a nice color zing to the whole schmeal. Uh, and I also felt like they complemented all the different color schemes that we have in the garden as well. Uh, so yeah, we had some purples, whites, and some pinks, and of course a lot of green. I just realized that the lavender flowers also complemented the hedges that I used that also came with flowers themselves. So yeah, I had so much fun with landscaping. I'm so comfortable with it now. You would never know that a couple of months back I never did landscaping at all. Like I was super bad at landscaping. Uh, you know, just it just goes to show that, you know, with a little bit of practice, you can really... Um, develop your own style and technique and all that good stuff it actually turned out really well i love how the landscaping went i will totally be marrying my sims in i will totally throw a wedding party there we go with my sims in this venue in the future in one of my let's plays probably the base game because that's the one that kind of has the sims ready to get married i don't know it's probably going to be a while still but you know what you guys can test it out for yourself and see how it works. Um, I'm pretty sure it will work just fine. Once again, just finishing up the landscaping by filling out all the gaps with these flowers. It actually turned out really well. Um, and there's a, an order to the landscape that's kind of very organic, but it's also very um, structured at the same time, if that makes any sense. And these outdoor lights just illuminate the plants you don't need to place that many of these because they just really give off some really good light especially at night you guys will see that it's beautiful at night like can you guys imagine with fireflies and things it's it looks amazing 
Uh, so we are just finishing in all the different touches of the light tea. Um, looks very, very beautiful. And it's not that bright. You know, there's some places that it's a little bit darker, which is fun. I also added in these lights that came with Spade because I felt like they gave a really nice dim even like orange reddish type of light which looked really good actually at night especially and yeah these fountains are super cute i placed a pair of these goldfish because it's you know it's a wedding venue there it's, it's all about the pair anyway i placed a pair of those and then i'm also gonna place like a light in the fountain so it looks really really good at night and also i am going to fill this pond with water lilies like all throughout you know, there's gonna be a ton of water lilies which i felt like looked really good as well i don't know i just added some clutter kind of ties in the whole garden together and still goes with our color scheme as well the last couple of things that i am going to place are those gigantic great trees uh because i think they really do complete the look of this venue uh so yeah the speed builds part of this video is coming to an end, so I hope you guys stick with me in just a little bit as we move on and look at the screenshots, okay guys? Alrighty guys, moving on to the screenshots. Of course, the first thing that we're going to be looking at is the overview of the floor plan, so that's that. And next thing is the front of the lot at the back of the church if that makes any sense i'm pretty sure you guys will figure it out. And then this is the main entrance, nothing too too crazy, it's a very um understated entrance way to an amazing venue inside so that is the facade of the church very very stunning and elaborate a closer view of all the different architectural details of the facade and i love the pop of yellow color i think it makes it different and it makes all the different colors stand out this is the reception area which has a red theme really really nice and then that is the fountain and you can see actually the mountains in the background you can also see a bit of the ocean as well very 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 beautiful background behind there's a table there so you can put cakes and stuff and then that is the vestibule of the interior of the church and then that is the archway that leads to the main aisle of the church i'm so excited for you guys to actually see this and boom <laughs> this is the aisle of the church and um looks really long not too nothing too too crazy but it's so romantic another view this time kind of facing towards the ceiling i guess because i don't know it's fun very very high ceiling and i love the effect of the curtains actually that are hanging from the second floor i think it really brings all the different levels together and then here are some seating areas nothing too too crazy but it gets the job done really romantic and yes the sims can actually sit and watch the ceremony happen so yes and i think uh, yeah, the next view is the wedding arch. Nothing too too crazy, but yeah, I think these flowers actually that are unlockable by having a high performance in a wedding really do complete the look of everything. So yeah, this is a view of the building that houses all the different bathrooms and stuff. I didn't show the bathroom because they're just bathrooms. And then this is the interior of the bar area. Really, really fun. It is a perfect place for your uncles and your aunts to grab a drink and reminisce about everything that they're missing out. <laughs> not just kidding uh, but yeah it has a very nice blue color scheme to it as well that's a spot detail what we call an architecture uh, so yes and then this is a really nice area over here we can just sit down and enjoy the different flowers and things and then some views of the garden to pretty much wrap up this walkthrough so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed watching the speed build i had so much fun building it with you guys so yeah i can't wait to make more videos like these with you guys in the future so yes that is going to be it for the speed building video once again please don't forget to hit that like favorite and subscribe button because it's really gonna help me out a lot so thank you for everybody who did that and yeah you all have an awesome 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 day thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next time Bye-bye.